Welcome into YSN Live. Eric Hughes here at Bedford Trails with the Rockets offensive and defense line. Nick Donatelli, how you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Great. So, can you just describe for me real quick how fast this has all kind of gone by for you, you being a senior now? It's gone incredibly fast considering that it's already week six. Uh, I love every moment that I spend with my teammates. Uh, can you describe what emotion that you're feeling knowing this might be your la last year taking, taking the field with your teammates? Uh, makes me incredibly sad because I just I cherish every moment, you know. What's been your favorite moment so far this point in the football field? Uh, probably like from freshman year to senior year. Probably winning the MVAC championship twice. Back to back? Yeah, back to back. Is there like any one particular opponent you guys love playing the most? I know you guys have a lot of great opponents in your conference. Is there one, there's a little extra edge to it? I like I like playing Springfield a lot because they're our biggest rival in yeah. reserve. But oh, we yeah. just lost to them. But. Yeah. Can you describe the intensity of that Western Reserve rivalry real quick, though? Because I was calling that game. I noticed, like, there was a lot of, like, big hits, you know, chirping after the whistle. Yeah, there's th – we have a lot of beef. Yeah, I, yeah. I could tell. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you, like, describe also, like, all the work that kind of goes into being a lineman? You know, they don't get all the glamour like yeah. the receivers, the running backs do. But can you describe, like, all the hard work it takes? Uh, I like lifting a lot in the off season. Obviously, you have to do cardio, but I usually do that with my team. So I just lift, really. Just lift, really? Do you like playing offense or defense better? Definitely offense. Offense, I like that? blocking for Geno Perry. You like blocking for Geno? Yeah. You guys have had a lot of great running backs over the last couple of years. You had yeah. Geno, you had Tino before. Um, does blocking for a guy like them kind of make your job a little bit easier, do you think? Yes. Easily? Incredibly easier. Um, so out of all the games, you, you guys have won a lot of games these last few years. Out of all the victories you guys have had, which one really stands out to you the most? Definitely the win last year against Springfield because we uh, it was just down to the wire. I mean, like, we just pulled it out. Yeah, that one was a crazy game. Officiating, there were a lot of calls in that game. A little frustrating the boot there yeah. to, like, it was always everything was always being called back. Play would always be stopped. It was frustrating, honestly, as an announcer. Um, but everyone has their own motivation for playing football. What would you say is kind of your biggest motivation that keeps you going? Um... Really just, I like working hard. I was just like, I just like lifting too, so that just takes into account for football. Do you like playing other sports besides football? Uh, I like doing track. You like, do, I, what yeah. do you do for track? I throw. You throw? Yeah. How far can you throw? Not very far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it though. That's good. So what else do you like to do outside of sports and football? Uh, I like to play pickup basketball. I'm pretty good at basketball, I think. What, what's I'm your archetype for basketball? Sure. What's your archetype for basketball? Are you a shooter? Or are you I'm a great a defender? I'm a shooter. He'll tell you I'm a really good shooter in Sam, basketball. Sam, well, we're going to interview him I'm next. I'm good. <laughs> um, so who are some teammates and coaches met along the way that have really had a positive impact on you, like not just on the field but off the field also? Uh, coach Minnie. He's our line coach. He's really great. Coach Minnie. And then – what do you want people to know about this new generation of that come in? It's obviously like a very different team. You guys had Balones on their the last couple of years. This year you have Ricky and a bunch of other younger guys. What can you tell everybody about this new Rocket team coming in? We just have to – every game – we already know every, every game is going to be close. We just need to pull it out. And off the field, who would you say are like some of your biggest role models that help keep you going every single day? Uh, I would say my brother because he just strives, strives like me to work harder. That's always a good thing. And what do you plan doing after you graduate? Uh, going to college. What do you want to go for? Industrial engineering. Why do you want to choose that? I don't know. None of, nobody in my family really does it. <laughs> I just want to be different. Yeah. Um, do you plan on like staying close to home for college? Or do you want to go out far? Uh, probably close to home. Probably something like YSU. I'm something not really like sure yet. All right. Well, Nick, thank you for taking the time to this interview with me. I really appreciate it.